Are you ready to embody your sacred fire energy? December 2013 Beloved Masters, you came from far distant universes, sub-universes, galaxies and planets, and you brought with you a wealth of cosmic information, which was stored within your sacred mind for future access. There were stringent requirements you had to pass and solemn vows you had to make. You agreed to come to Earth during these momentous evolutionary times, and then incarnate into greatly diverse and often very difficult circumstances. You made a pledge that when the time came for you to step onto the path of ascension, you would allow us to set aside your free will so that we could take whatever measures were deemed necessary to awaken you. For many, it resulted in a soul merge, and others who had already awakened to their soul self were ready for a merge with a facet of their higher self. When the soul finally merges fully with the Sacred Heart, it is a grand reunion of monumental proportions. When your intentions are composed of wisdom overlaid with love and projected with purity, you become a powerful source of sacred fire energy. This awakening resulted in a mass divine discontent among what we will call the advanced guard. You all have experienced some of the diverse and momentous transformations that have taken place among the masses. You have also observed or have been affected by the accelerated earth changes, which have increased in frequency, and are continuing on a regular basis. Most of you, who have consciously made an effort to reclaim your divinity, through whatever means you were or are attracted to, are among this advanced group of souls. You agreed to be the examples, and you are willing to do everything within your power to ease the way for others by becoming sentinels of light, way showers and world servers. In past ages, the ascension process was available only to those who incarnated as initiates firmly on the path, as disciples whose mission was to anchor as much divine light and to bring forth as much cosmic wisdom as possible. That time is past. It is a time of mass ascension, for all the planets, solar systems, galaxies and sub-universes within this universe are actively involved in an unprecedented ascension process. The wills of creation are ever spiraling downward or upward, inward or outward, depending on the great cosmic cycle of the time. The superconscious mind and the many facets of your higher self are the link to the spiritual realms. First, you may begin to get flashes of information inspiration via your intuitive abilities and during meditation. The powers of the mind are greatly enhanced as an aspirant on the path becomes more proficient and comfortable in using the higher frequency patterns of the sacred mind. As a result of tapping into the higher frequency realms of the brain structure, a good portion of your memory of past events will begin to fade as you move out of the realm of the instinctual brain mind into the realm of the higher mind. Ascension is mind expanding, a process of passing from one state of consciousness to another. The awareness expands to include all humanity, the Earth, the solar system and its workings. No longer is the focus on the little self. The ultimate goal is to become a galactic being and eventually attain a universal consciousness. As you become proficient at accessing the power and majesty of the higher frequency dimensions, you begin to get a glimpse of how wondrous paradise can be, and the excitement begins to build. That is what is happening all over the world. It is a very personal experience, for you can have confusion, turmoil and chaos around you and still be centered in the calm eye of peace and joy. As time goes by, you will find that your center of peace will extend out farther and farther, and as more of you begin to tap into the eternal power of perfection, it will spread faster and faster until it encompasses the world. There is a great stirring taking place among the masses, those who until now were not ready to listen to the inner nudgings of spirit or delve into the mysteries of creation that are beginning to flow on the currents of higher frequency rays of the new divine blueprint. We have said that you have been very brave to step out of your comfort zone, out of the mass consciousness flow of popular beliefs into uncharted territory. You have been willing to face up to many challenges and tests, and you have not been deterred by those who said you were wrong evil or wishful thinkers. You are proving that what you have accepted as your truth is indeed working, and the validation is concrete and visible for all to see so that there can be no dispute. Fear is the greatest deterrent to change, 
but you are learning to tame your fears and you are claiming your sacred willpower. Each time you visit your fifth dimensional pyramid of light, you become more adept at tapping into and using the gifts of creation, and you bring back with you more and more of the rarefied unmanifested fifth dimensional light substance. See these streams of light spiraling down into the physical realms of expression, as they gradually become tangible and take form under your direction through your visions, dreams and clear intention. Many of you have learned the discipline necessary to hold your visions without wavering, and you are learning that the miracles of manifestation take place one clear thought, one step or action, and one day at a time. There are no shortcuts, beloveds. You must follow the universal laws of manifestation in order to harness the power of creation. You are being called to join the Leadership Light Team, those who will show the way for the beautiful souls now awakening from their spiritual slumber. Thousands are needed to facilitate and assist in this next wave of awakening that is now in progress, for it encompasses millions upon millions. Even those still in denial are becoming aware that something profound and unprecedented is taking place on Earth. These souls will not have to go through the extensive cleansing, clearing and painful processing that so many of you have experienced. Indeed, you have opened the way and have the knowledge that will help them to move quickly through the awakening process and into empowerment. You are the examples and the way shores, for you are destined to teach those around you the simplified steps necessary to clear their old thought patterns, so that the divine light of the Creator may begin to take dominion within their heart center. You are major players, my brave ones, as we move to the next higher spiral of evolution. By now, we hope that you are beginning to accept what we tell you, that you are all beautiful beings who carry a precious spark of the Creator within your heart soul. Allow your higher self to inspire and guide you, but please step to the fore and use the knowledge, wisdom and skills that have been so dearly won. Dear Hearts you are a composite of all your past experiences and memories. You have had many lifetimes as a female where you were abused or mistreated by men, and many lifetimes in the male body where you suffered the loss of your beloved mate, were betrayed, or did not measure up in some way. All those conflicting energies within your cells, auric field, and brain structure will color your outlook on the opposite sex until you resolve and transmute them. At the core of your being, what you are really seeking is the reunification with the other half of your godly self, that perfect divine ray of creation that was sent forth in its totality. You then separate it into two sub-rays, one representing the Father Creator and the other a representative of the Mother Creator. You have divided and separated into many facets or fragments of consciousness since, but have forever yearned and sought your return to wholeness and unity consciousness. How can you accomplish the healing and reunification of these two primary facets of yourself? First, by developing a sense of self-worth and self-love. You will begin to radiate this higher vibratory energy out from your auric force field, and others will respond in kind. Learn to trust yourself and your intuition so that you may trust others. You will never feel alone when you learn that you have a mighty force of angels ever near you, ready to protect encourage, love, and support you every moment of the day or night. Release the pain of the past by forgiving yourself and all others. There will still be those who come into your life with whom you do not resonate, and that will be so as long as you are in the physical vessel. If you can maintain an attitude of non-judgment, and radiate love to the essence of each person, you will not have to experience a karmic dance or interaction with them. Bless them and allow them to follow their path, while you follow your own. It is time for humanity to remove the etheric shields of protection they have placed over their heart solar plexus centers so that they cannot be hurt or unduly influenced. Opening the golden seal portal of the sacred heart, where your diamond core god cell resides, allows the love light of the father mother god to flow freely from both the front and back portals of the sacred heart. Beloveds, there is another important concept that we wish to present to you. In doing so, we know that it will trigger fear and doubt for many of you. If this is the case, we ask you to set the information to the side, and ask that it be validated if it is to be your truth, or if it is too uncomfortable, just disregard it. 
There is much information coming forth that will challenge the old world concepts and thought forms of the past. Just as children learn the simple basic concepts of life in their early years, their lessons and knowledge become more complex and thought-provoking as they mature. This concept applies to your spiritual education and growth as well. We have told you that the Supreme Creator has begun to emanate the rarefied love light essence from the heart core of its being, adamantine particles of pure divine light substance. This essence contains all the facets of creation, which include the seed thoughts, energy components, and gram designs for never before experienced new creations. Within these wondrous multiple beams of Creator light are newly activated, black spectrum rays of pure unmanifested potential. The Creator is sending these rays as a gift throughout this universe, for they contain the stillness of the Great Void, which will be accessible to all who are brave enough to tap into the magnificent power of the Void of Space, in order to be a participant in the creation of future worlds and galaxies. First came the Void and then came the Light, and within the Light were all good and wondrous things. The spectrum of Light would not be discernible without the many shades of darkness. Many of you fear the darkness and your shadow side, perceiving it as evil. Beloveds, if all is a part of the One, the Creator, how can there be anything to fear when you are filled with God light? You as humans have created many things to fear, but these things are not the Creator's doing. Do you fear the great void that is the backdrop for the stars and constellations? Some of you fear the night, but it is not the darkness that you can blame but the hurtful things that humans do under the cover of darkness. We wish to help you to begin to investigate and transmute those old self-limiting concepts so that you may broaden your horizons and assume your cloak of light. With the gift of light comes a great responsibility, the leadership role that we outlined for you earlier. We ask you to live your lives with a heightened sense of awareness. To feel the joy of being connected to all that is, and then share the joy with others. To use your willpower to move swiftly along the path of enlightenment, so that as you gain a higher vantage point, you can more easily assist others over the rough spots. Endeavor to love others with all your heart and soul, as the Creator loves you. To speak your highest truth with love, compassion, and discernment. To see the best in everyone. And to know that we are all a part of the same great I Am. Precious friends, we began and will end this wondrous journey together. We will encourage you, stretch your minds, and nudge you when it is appropriate, but most of all, we will love you eternally. Archangel Michael Channeled through Rana Herman RanaStar.com